simple but so important. It's that number on your house. And you know what? It's, it's something that should reflect the personality of the, either of your house or of you. Absolutely. And from a practical perspective, it has to be large enough that somebody could find you in an emergency, yes. which means you also want to light it. But to start talking about it, you want to think about the style of your house. And right away, you can easily decide, is my house modern or is it traditional? And that's going to narrow your choices because in general, a traditional house might have a brass, mm -hmm. uh, but it probably isn't going to have a shiny chrome. And a modern house might have a chrome, yeah. uh, but probably isn't going to have an antique brass hardware. Right. So we went to Antique Door and Hardware and chose a bunch of different numbers that are lovely. And you can see something like this really nice and clean and contemporary, this number 10. And we get down here and this has got kind of a gothic Tudor feel to it. Mm -hmm. And then over here, this is a, a very traditional, woo, that's shiny, that brass. That sure is. So you want to make decisions based on what's going to look best with your house. So just, we'll test Tracy, because Tracy does this show kind of often. <laughs> and she gets all this advice from people. So let's see, she doesn't know we're going to do let's this. See if this I let's know see if I know anything. So if you if had a more modern home, yeah. which one of these might be a good choice? I'd go for one, two, three for modern. See how annoying she is? She knows everything. Mm -hmm. I listen to you guys sometimes. <sighs> all right. I do. OK, that's good. We'll give you that. That's a little square is right away a little bit more contemporary. Right. What about if you had a house um, that you wanted to reflect something like Parisian, let's say? Which one would it Parisian, be? A little bit Parisian, a little bit of Paris. A little uh, bit of Paris. I'm going to go with this one. Not a bad choice. All right. But this one would also work. Oh, I so got it wrong. Little, no, 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 no. They both work. <laughs> this one's a little bit simpler. And yeah. down here, you can see it's got a little flourish. It, it's got a little now, flourish. You might need the flourish if you're looking to add width. To, okay. to the numbers as, as a grouping. Which yeah. one do I despise? You do not like this one. Thank you. She knows me so well. Yeah. I don't like this little fake. You, you don't know, like faux, it. I don't like it French either. Lip thing. Don't yeah, do don't it on like your it. cabinets. Don't do it on your house. In fact, <laughs> just don't do it. Just, in fact, I'm gonna steal this. I won't give it back. You That's can do it if you like it. Don't. We don't don't like let this it. happen to you. Is what I'm saying. Um, and then we've also done for clients some fun installations. I, I think yes. you got some pictures of them. It doesn't always have to go on your front door. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we've got some sketches. Look yeah. at this. This is a great way to do it, especially if you've got a long driveway. Exactly. And maybe you have, this is going to be closer to people's eye line than your house. You can put it up there. Easy to see. Exactly. Close to the street. Ooh, Same thing I with like the one that, that isn't that fun. It was on a stone. And in both cases, we installed up lighting that pointed at the lights and went on automatically at night. Very and nice. again, it's very important if you're getting pizza. Yes. That they know where to go. You have to know where to find me. Now, let's talk about it's classy, like, classy. Pretty. I think that, that when I see numbers done that way, I love that. I just think you got money. <laughs> I think like you're you, rich. Know, you know what's funny about that? It's actually very affordable to do I that. I know, but for some reason I associate it now, with just class and elegance. A couple hundred dollars. It's very affordable. Hire a decorative artist. We got um, a sample from Beth Halstead of Halstead and Company, and that. again, she will create really? the lettering based on what your house looks like. Yeah. So this would be clean and contemporary. Uh, if, if the script that you see in the monitor, that would be a little bit more traditional. So right. again, if you hire someone, they're going to be able to give you advice. And if you didn't want to hire a decorative artist, which I highly recommend, mm -hmm. you can also go to a printer and oh. they will do a vinyl cutout, which you just transfer onto the face. So you do need a solid face mm -hmm. for it to go on. That could be an MDF wood. It can even be stone. Yes. Uh, but if it's brick, you're going to have to mount it on a board like she's done here. Okay. But in every case, don't stop at the letters always make sure to add the lighting in addition it's okay. a two-part process not just the not just the numbers I mean it's the worst thing ever you can drive down a street and basically not be able to see anyone's number because it's yeah. just not lit properly yeah and we, we don't think about it you know that it's that important until somebody's trying to find your That's house right and it, and it becomes important the only advice I would give is don't get your kids to do this for you no <laughs> not unless they're in, in art school yeah. in you know, hire a professional yeah, and remember a professional don't let this happen to you <laughs> <laughs> Don't That's our public do it. service message for the day. <laughs>